In this video, I'll walk through the process of withdrawing POA from Binance, moving it to the XDAI chain as wrapped POA, and then finally transforming that wrapped POA into stake on XDAI. Now that POA is delisted from Binance, this is a process where you can still extract some value from your POA. Let's start over here in Binance. So we will, I'm in my wallet right now. We'll go to withdraw. We will select our POA token. For the network, we'll select the POA network. And then for our address, we want to send this to an address we have control of. Here we're using MetaMask, and that's what we would recommend for you as well. You can download MetaMask and get an address there. Trust Wallet has not been working for all these processes, so we strongly recommend using MetaMask. I need to select the network again. It's the minimum amount 0.02. I'll enter the amount and withdraw. Here are the details. Make sure it's the, the same address that you'll send to in your MetaMask. So we copied it right from here. And you can see we're linked to the POA network. I'll go over how to do that in a minute. But this is the same address that you would use on Ethereum mainnet as well. We need to enter in our codes here. So to get the email verification code, I need to click get code and then check my email. I also have an authenticator code set up. Let me grab those real quick. I've got my codes and I'm going to submit this transaction. Okay, it's been submitted. So I should be able to see it soon in my wallet. We can see here in our account, it will show our most recent withdrawals and can check more information. Let's see if it's arrived in my MetaMask wallet yet. Not yet. So quickly, let me show you how to add the POA network. When you first download MetaMask, it will default to Ethereum and it won't have some of the other networks in there. An easy way to do this is to go to chainlist.org. Connected my wallet. And here we can search for a network and add it to MetaMask. This will allow it to add the details for your POA network and you can switch the network right here. Let's take a look and see if our POA has arrived. There it is. So we've received it now. We can proceed to the next step. Next I'm going to go to the Omni Bridge. That's omni.xdichain.com forward slash bridge. So since my wallet is connected to the POA network, we'll see POA network is already here. And we can see the bridge is set up for the POA to XDI bridge. Those are the settings we want. If for some reason we were connected to Ethereum, we would see we need to change the network. And we can actually do it by just clicking here. And we'll switch network. So we're connected back to POA to XDAI on the bridge. I'd recommend just doing a small amount first. You can always come back and move the rest of your POA, but it's good to just test these things out to make sure everything will work properly. 0.005 here, working with very small amounts. The gas fees are relatively low, so it's easy to do a test run and then come back and move the rest of your POA. All right. 
So we'll confirm this transaction in MetaMask. And we'll wait for the confirmations here. This shouldn't take long because both networks have five second blocks. If you want to monitor the transaction, you can do so here. So we can see we're still waiting on confirmations. This process will probably take one or two minutes. I'll come back when it's done. So we've completed the bridge from POA network to XDAI chain. You can see we have 0 0.005 wrapped POA now on XDAI. Next, we'll go to XDAI and add this to our MetaMask wallet. So I already have the XDAI chain in here. Again, if you wanted to add it, chain list would probably be the easiest way. There's also instructions on the XDAI network xdichain.com. So we've added it to MetaMask and you can see we're on xdi now. But we don't see the wrapped POA yet. We need to add the token. Now one way to get this address is actually to go to Block Scout. We can type in WPOA up here, and we'll see the token. We can just click on the MetaMask symbol here to add our POA, our wrapped POA. You don't need to connect to Block Scout. So now it'll show in our assets. All right, so next we'll move on to step two, which is the swapping process. We need to go to the swap application, and that is located at poa-2-stake.poa.network. We're connected to a different wallet here, so I'm going to disconnect from that wallet. If you haven't used this application before, you won't need to worry about that. But we'll come in here fresh. So connect your wallet. Select MetaMask. And I'm going to connect to this first account that I have. There we go. Okay. So Again, if you have a large amount, I would recommend trying with a smaller amount. We're going to do convert all, and it will tell us how much stake we can get. Now, this is going to cost a little bit of X die. If you don't have any X die, you can uh, go to the faucet to get enough X die to pay for this transaction. So this faucet is at xdai-app.herokuapp.com slash faucet. We select the xdai chain. Enter our address. So again, we can just copy it from here. And request a drop. So we can see we should receive a drop now. And if this doesn't work at first, you can always come back later. Okay, so we got some XDAI. We're back in the application. We've selected how much we want to convert, and we'll click Convert here. See there's a small gas fee to allow this contract to convert your WPOA into stake and this next transaction will be to actually swap the tokens. This process should be fairly quick. Okay, so we've got our WPA converted to stake.
And once again, we'll want to add the stake token to our MetaMask. Got a handy button here where we can add stake. And we should see it in our wallet now. There it is. So we've converted our POA to stake. If you want to use stake on the XDAI chain, there's lots of places you can do so for trading and other things. Recommend checking out xdai.world for the latest applications, DeFi applications, and lending. Now, if you want to bridge stake somewhere else, you can always go back to the Omni Bridge. Let's start on XDAI, for example. You can do ETH to XDAI or Binance Smart Chain to XDAI, so moving stake or whatever you trade from back to Binance Smart Chain or to Ethereum. Just note that when you move to Ethereum, you're going to need to pay gas fees for that conversion, which can often be very high. So be aware that can run several hundreds of dollars to transfer to Ethereum. Sometimes it's better to just keep things on XDAI, move them to Binance Smart Chain, or wait until better gas fees are available. So I hope that answers your questions about the swap process. There is a website where you can follow along with written instructions here. And there's also an FAQ section if you run into certain problems while making the transfer. Good luck, and we'll see you later.